I'm Kim and today I'm bringing to you my TBR for the month of March. So for the last few months or the last couple of months, I'm only, I've am only i only been doing this for the past two months, but um, for the past two months I didn't really stick to my TBR or I stuck to it a little bit and then not so much and whatever, but I'm hoping it will be will be better this month and even if it isn't I still enjoy doing videos like this and I'm sticking with them so yeah let's get started the first book I'm planning on reading I'm actually planning on listening to an audiobook and it's called it's it's A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas which is obviously the second book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy I'm currently listening to A Thorn of meh. I'm currently I'm currently listening to A Court of Thorns and Roses and it's the 25th of February today, I started it yesterday, so I'm probably going to be listening to it in March for quite a while yet, because it's a pretty long audiobook, but once I'm finished with this one, I'm going to start on A Court of Mist and Fury, and I'm really looking forward to it. And um, it's published by Bloomsbury USA Children's, and it's by Sarah J Maas. For those of you who do not know, it's a high fantasy um trilogy it's actually new adult which i didn't know which kind of surprised me because i always thought new adult was more of a contemporary genre and was more about like teenagers like turning into adults and like i i don't know but i just i didn't think fantasy would be included in this but apparently new adult includes anything that has a protagonist in the right age group and um as the protagonist is 19 in the first book and 20 in the second book she apparently falls into this age category so this book is new adult again i didn't know that but i don't really care so i've always said i probably won't be reading any new adults book because i'm not really interested in the genre obviously now i am because i didn't know those books fell into that genre so yeah the next book I actually got from the author, she asked me on Instagram if I wanted to read her book and review it and after um, being told about her book I really thought it was really interesting and so yeah she sent her, me her book. It's of Kith and Kin by Sophie Bounds and it doesn't have a publisher because it's self-published and I'm planning on reading it on my Kindle. It's a historical novel about a mill worker in the like in England during the Industrial Revolution, I think, or during that time. I don't think it's about the Industrial Revolution or anything, but it's just like the time where there were still mill workers and whatnot. I hope this is right. If it's if I'm at totally the wrong time, I'm really sorry. I can tell you more once I've read it. And yeah, since um, she contacted contacted me directly this is like my top priori priority for the month i really can't talk can't talk anymore i'm sorry whatever let's get on with it the next two books i requested on netgalley and they're by german authors and they aren't available in english yet so i'm not going to tell you too much about them but the first one is demon hearts and angel wings by jana goldbach which I already planned on reading last month, but I didn't get to it, so I'm pl planning on reading it this month, and it's um, a YA contemporary fantasy. The second one is as well YA contemporary fantasy, and it's Chosen, Die Bestimmte by Rena Fischer. I just had to think about it, and it's Rena Fischer, not Rena Fischer, which is pretty... <sighs> whatever. <laughs> Let's not get into that. The second book is The Winner's Curse, the first one in the Winner's tri tri Trilogy. I am really having trouble with this word in German as well as in English because it's pretty much the same word. It's The Winner's Trilogy, not Trilogy, which again, I have a lot of trouble with pronouncing properly both in German and in English. And it's by Marie Rutkowski or something like this, if it's the wrong like pronunciation or whatever, I'm sorry. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the publisher because I've never heard of it, of them, whatever. And I think at least one of the words is French. Another word is definitely a German word, but it could be that it has a meaning in English or French or whatever as well. Probably in French rather than in English because I don't know it in English, whatever. And yeah, it's just, it's Farrar, Strauss and Giraud or, or something like it. Like it. I, I'm totally sorry, I have no idea. And yeah, I'm planning on reading this as an 
and I'm planning on reading this on my Kindle as well. This is going to be a buddy read with another YouTuber. I'm going to link her channel down below. And yeah, that's all about the book. It's a high fantasy YA. Um, I don't really know too much about it, to be honest. Just that it's for fans of A Throne of Glass, apparently. So I'm looking forward to it. The last book that I'm planning on reading is Rebel of the Sands by Alvin Hamilton which is the first book in the series of the same name or I think it's a trilogy, I'm not sure but let's say series then I'm right anyways and yeah, not really sure what this is about either and um, I'm really looking forward to it it's by Faber and Faber and I'm reading it as the paperback version obviously because I have it right here in my hands and I'm really weird today I think I say this in every video I don't know I don't usually talk as much except no I don't usually talk as much because I don't have anyone to talk with that much because people get bored because I talk too much so yeah whatever I forgot what I was going to say, so I'm just going to say goodbye. Let me know if you've read any of the books I mentioned. Let me know if you want to read any of the books I mentioned. And just let me know anything else. I don't know. Give me a thumbs up. You know what I'm going to say. Please, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And that's it. Bye.